Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. And today lecture, I'm going to show that how we can find the length of the spiral reinforcement. Length of spiral reinforcement, which is basically the transverse reinforcement or the shear reinforcement in the case of the column. Transverse or shear reinforcement in columns. In beams, they are mostly known as the stirrups in, instead of the spiral. So now what is spiral and how we can find the length of the spiral? Spiral reinforcement, if you look to this is a, for example in a column, you see here a column, a reinforced concrete column and it is being fixed here at the footing, if this is any kind of footing, so it is being supported by a footing and inside this column if you look to the reinforcement detail here you see that there are longitudinal reinforcement provided which is used to carry the axial load and there is also you see here a circular reinforcement provided you see the circular reinforcement provided throughout the length of the column where you see this one and also more clearly here the circular reinforcement these are known as the spiral or the shear reinforcement or the transverse reinforcement and they are provided in order to increase the shear capacity of the column or to confine the concrete or to confine the main reinforcement because these are the, the steel bars are the main reinforcement or the longitudinal bars you see here they are provided to increase the axial capacity of the beam they are provided to increase the axial capacity of the beam and to confine the concrete so for this we provide also spiral reinforcement to confine the axial reinforcement and also to confine the concrete. So how we can find that how much length of the spiral is used here. You see here the spiral has been it's used like, like in this shape throughout the length of the column. And we want to find how what is the length of this spiral used in the column if we are given with certain dimension. So let me clean this screen. Now to find out this length of the spiral, we are going to take some dimension. For example, this is the length of the column. So a length or height of the column. So let's suppose this height of the column is 8 meter, a long column. And we have the cross section of the column. You see here this diameter of the column, for example, is let's suppose is 500 centimeter or we call it 0.5 meter because if we use in meter it will be 0.5 meter so it will be 0.5 meter and let's suppose the distance between the spiral is known to us this distance which is known as the pitch and this pitch P is for example between the two spiral is known to us which is also 500 centimeter or 0.5 meter I mean the distance between the two spiral for example this is one spiral this is another spiral so the distance between these two is known to us which is 0.5 meter represented by P which is known as the pitch and this is throughout the height or the depth of the column so P is also known to us so now we will find how we can find the length of the spiral used in this column so the length of the spiral can be found out by very simple formula which is L is equal to the N into C square plus P square. Now we will start to find out each parameter and will put into this equation to find out the length of the spiral reinforcement. So first of all we have to find out the N. N is basically the number of turns that how many how many turns are used there. So it can be found out by very simple formula n is equal to the total height of the column dividing by the pitch pitch means the distance between the two spirals so height of the column is known to us which is 8 meter dividing by the distance between two which is 0.5 so here we will get here 16 so number of turns you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you count this so it will be 16 number of the spiral turns so n is known to us which is 16 now super now the next one is c c is unknown to us so 
So C is basically the circumference of the column and it can be found out by pi into D where D is the diameter of the column. So pi is 3.14 constant and D pi is known to us. You should know this value from Google or from calculator. It is 3.14 and D is the diameter which is basically 500 centimeter upon 5 meter in this case. So if I multiply, I got it 1.57 meter here. So this is circumference of the column. So it is also now known to me. And now what is unknown here? Here is P now. So we are going to find out the P. So P is equal to basically is, is the pitch. And I mentioned before that it is given to us. For example, the distance between two is 0.5 meter. Or 500 centimeter. I'm using the same unit because it is easy to calculate. So now I'm going to put all these values in this equation and calculate. So L is equal to the N, which is 16 here. N is 16. Multiplying it with the C square. C is basically 1.57 square plus P. P is basically pitch, which is known to us 0.5 meters, the distance between two turns square. Now if you Square these values and adding and then taking square root, you will come out with a value of 26.36 meter. So basically, the length of the spiral, you see here this spiral is going like this, this, this way throughout the column, which is this one. So the length of this spiral is equal to the 26.36 meter. If your column of 8 meter, the pitch is 0.5 meter and the diameter of the column is 500 centimeter so you will get this length of the spiral reinforcement 26.36 meter so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video